Hi everyone, welcome to Bear ESP Trainings. My name is Faiza Alam. In today's session, we will be uh, having an overview of the vendor payment. I mean, how can we process a vendor payment in the NetSuite application? So vendor payments can be defined as uh, the payment uh, to vendors, which is made for the purchase of goods, services or both. And uh, this can be done by establishing a proper process and a system that is suitable for the organization. Um, when the bills have once entered, uh, it can be paid when they are due. If we talk about the net suite, so the, here the payment goes to the general ledger as an expense and the payment amount is deducted from the accounts payable totals. Moving on to the NetSuite application. So for uh, here in the NetSuite application, there are two ways uh, for making a payment of the bill. The first uh, is we can pay, uh, we can pay the, we can make the payment of the bill to single uh, vendor. And the other is we can uh, make the payments to the multiple vendors. So we will take the first way into consideration for that. We will be going under the transactions, payables and pay single vendors. So here we can see a bill payment form has opened up before us. The accounts payable account has already been here. Custom form, which is the standard bill payment is here. We have to select the vendor for whom we want to make this payment. Like I am taking here. I am taking in this APR limited. So you can see the account that is associated with this vendor, the subsidiary, the balance amount, the available balance, the currency exchange rate, everything that is associated with this particular vendor is already been populated over here. The date is here, posting period. If we want to provide any memo for it, like we can provide it a class, location department, all this can be provided. So here, if we go into the line level under the apply section, so these are the bills that are outstanding with this APR limited. If uh, we want to make payment of it, we can simply click, uh, we can simply mark all. And if we don't want that, if we want to select any particular bill, uh, any two, uh, if any one or two, then we can just check mark over it. You can see the amount of uh, the payment amount is here. The discount taken column is like uh, if uh, any discount is, you know, uh, has been given by this vendor, like, like if it, it has provided the 200, uh, so you can see the payment amount has been changed now. So right now I am not taking any discount for it. So after checking this box and uh, see the required details, we can click on save. So here we got the confirmation that this bill payment has been done. So this is the first way of making payment in the NetSuite. If we take the other way into consideration, like uh, if we want to pay uh, multiple vendors, uh, so for that also we will be going under the transactions, pay bills and pay bills. So this bill payment form has been opened up. So what happens for paying multi? Uh, we can see that the accounts payable account that is associated with, we want to associate with this payment, we can select it. The account from which we want to make payment of this particular bill, like I am changing here. this account so you can see that as soon as i have changed the account the balance the available balance and all has been changed accordingly so it will be changed and you can see the subsidiary that is associated with this particular account has already been populated over here 
so with this feature of uh, multiple um, payment to multiple vendors we can uh, make payments to as many vendors as we want in a single go like you can see we have selected the accounts payable account account subsidiary uh, and if we go down here you can see that uh, these are the uh, various various vendors that are associated and these are the various various bills that have been associated with these accounts and subsidiaries so we just have to uh, select uh, the you know bill and the vendor for whom we want to make the payment like I am take I am selecting here these two uh, vendors for making their payment and if we want to uh, print uh, if we want to print this bill we can check this box if we do not want we can leave it as blank and uh, after doing this we will click on save so yeah this is the bill uh, pro bill payment process it is still under process so i will click on refresh tab so here we can see that the bill payment has been processed the status shown over here is complete these are the amounts for which I have made the payment. And this is how we can uh, make payments to multiple vendors in a single way. So in today's session, we have learned uh, how can we make payments of uh, the bills to a single uh, vendor or to the multiple vendors as well by selecting the accounts payable and the accounts uh, that are associated with this payment. So in case of any questions, queries and consultations, you can write to us at www.bispsolutions.com. Thank you.